Really apologise if the tree's still up. Um, it is actually the 8th of January and we haven't taken it down yet, so I do apologise for that in advance. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques. What I want to do in this video specifically is cover six applications on iOS and not on Android but just solely on iOS that I think you should be using in January to really develop all of your productivity. These are new applications and there's some old ones here but I think the kind of value that these guys can add to you in the different areas of life, I think it could be really useful. Let's get stuck into the six top apps you can use to be more productive in January 2016. Wow, that's a lot of words. Um, so, let's get started. The first app I recommend is Overcast, and Overcast is a podcasting app. And obviously you're wondering probably, you know, why is this a productivity app? So for example, if I started playing an episode, and it's got Gary Vee over here open, I'm a big fan of Gary Vee, but what you can do with this is you can go a lot deeper in terms of the effects that you use, that you use over the top that allow you to be a bit more productive. So if you are a podcast listener, what you can do is you can click effects and simply speed up this. And if you listen to it about 1.5 or 1.5 to 2 uh, times the speed, obviously if you listen to it, but once you're kind of moving about and you're listening to things and you're focusing in on it, this becomes actually quite valuable because it is actually something that your brain can adapt to over time. You can get through a podcast much faster. The second tool that I recommend is To Do. And To Do is essentially a task manager application. Uh, it's a very easy to use task manager. I'm just going to put a review out on it separately on my Medium blog, but it's something that I highly recommend. They've got, got all of your tasks in the center area and all of your lists down the left hand side. And you can simply add tasks by going to here. You can add make projects, you can make checklists. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this application. And it's really powerful to kind of manage all of the productivity, uh, not all of the productivity, but all of the tasks and projects you've got across your day. The third app I recommend is something that I've been um, talking to a few of you guys uh, about on Twitter. And obviously a lot of people are annoyed and so am I about Sunrise uh, being, being killed off. And as you can see, this is Fantastic L2. I've done a few changes to it, but essentially it's a brilliant task management application that allows you to kind of really go deeper with all of your events and organize everything in advance. So that's a super highly recommended app and a lot of other people are recommending it too. The fourth app I want to recommend is called Matcha. And this is Matcha 3. It's an application I've been using for a little while now. And essentially what it is, is it's an Evernote client um, and also a Dropbox client too. So it brings in those services. But what you can do is simply make edits over the top. You can create notes uh, and those notes will go in those notebooks and, and folders that you have on Dropbox and Evernote, uh, however you organize it. But as you can see, the experience is really impressive. Um, you can have bullet points, images, tables, photos, whatever you want. Um, and the kind of experience of using this above, obviously on your iPad and iPhone across your day is really gorgeous. I've been using it much more than I do Evernote because Evernote feels a bit rigid. This feels very flexible and fun. So the fifth application that I'm recommending to everyone is Pocket. And although everyone seems to know about Pocket already, it's a great application for being able to store all of those articles you get across your day. It kind of puts it in a list view, which is great, and also grid view as well. But it is the ability to capture that across the day that's really valuable. I've saved countless hours uh, avoiding reading articles during a busy period of time and then actually catching them up when I feel kind of more optimized and more valued and, and find it more valuable to take that information. And the final application I want to recommend is an application called Everlist. And I actually found this on Twitter. Uh, I actually can't remember who uh, tagged me in it. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one, but I'll include them in the comments. Um, Evernote ever list, sorry. So it's not anything to do with Evernote, but essentially it's a way for you to manage all of your tasks. Uh, obviously another third party application looking to kind of make it big, which is great. Um, obviously here you've got a kind of a desk of all of your work in different project folders. So you, here I've got inbox work, groceries, travel, and you can start creating lists here. Uh, and as you go into them, you can set a due date, folders, where they go, add reminders from people, and even add notes too. I think this is really well designed and really impressive 
uh, in the way they just kind of put everything together. I'm actually going to keep an eye on this one because I th so much guys for watching. I really appreciate all the shares you do after and obviously please do subscribe. That's how I get my metric to be and that's how I kind of just understand people following the chat. So have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.